the best Oppo phone against the best Huawei. Awesome matchup, guys. Let's go right to it. So, these are the most advanced Chinese phones on the market. Both extremely impressive. And we have the Snapdragon 45 versus Kirin 970. So, the Apple is first one to boot up. And the Huawei up as well. Alright guys, now for the specs. The Apple has a larger screen. On the front, both phones have excellent cameras. And on the back, you have dual versus triple cameras. The Apple has more options for storage. The Huawei has a larger battery. The Oppo has a Snapdragon 45 versus a Kirin 970. And more RAM for the Oppo. The Huawei is water resistant. At the bottom, both phones have Type-C. But sadly, no headphone jacks. All right guys, now for the rest of the test. All right guys, getting right to it. NBC. Huawei. Spotify. Oppo. YouTube and extremely quick there for the Oppo, eBay. Now the Oppo is off to an extremely strong start here. Although the Huawei will do better later in the video. I funny. And iFunny's been extremely, uh, extremely slow recently. But a narrow edge there for the Oppo. Amazon shopping. Oppo. Photos. And again, a narrow edge for the Oppo. All right, guys, now we get the settings. And now on the gaming. So yeah, generally the Snapdragon 45 is faster than the Kirin 970. But keep in mind, the Kirin 970 is older. Subway. Ah, one sec guys. Subway. Okay, so actually looks like we got an update for it. But we'll just do that later. Mario. Oppo and Ashford 8. Alright guys, so the Oppo pretty easy winning this part of the test. But of course a lot more to do. And now we got him to do. So advantage here for the Oppo. And deep bench. Gonna run this way in a video. Alright guys, now we got Chrome. Alright, so we got four sites and first up we got IGN.com. Oh, 
Apo, INB.com, again the Apo, Yahoo.com, and advantage there for the Huawei. Apple.com Apo Samsung.com And I think a narrow edge there for the Huawei Nintendo.com And the Oppo there, so web browsing pretty close. Maybe a narrow edge for the Oppo. Last summer, no copyright. And now we have the speakers. Alright guys, so first up we got the Oppo. And Huawei. Back to Oppo. Huawei. Oppo. And last time here, Oppo. And Huawei. So yeah guys, both of them great quality. The Oppo is obviously a bit louder. And I think both had their strengths and weaknesses. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below which you prefer. And now we have face unlock. So the Huawei is extremely quick. But it's not as accurate. And an example of that. So yeah guys, the Huawei not recognizing it. And also it's, um, turn off the light. So yeah guys, pretty awesome. And let me just show you all real quick. But keep in mind, for the Huawei, uh, you do the fingerprint scanner. And it's lightning quick. Alright guys, so now we got multitasking. And the Apple really struggles with it. So, first up we got NBC. And you guys see a refresh there.
And good job there for, uh, for Spotify. Another refresh here for the Oppo. Now keep in mind the Oppo has 8 GB of RAM but still struggles with this. eBay a refresh for the Oppo. Now we do have about 15 apps. So if you go back to number 12 or so. So 15, 14, 13, 12. Actually we'll go all the way back to number 11. As you guys see this is retaining on both. So the Oppo multitasking is not as bad as it seems, but still guys, it should be able to hold all 15 apps. As you guys see right there, going back to 15. Amazon. All right, and then let's just try going about troll back again. So 15, 14, 13. We'll just go into Mario. Ash 40. So yeah, I mean even this we went back about 11 apps or so, but it's still refreshing for the Oppo. So the Wally multitasking is definitely better. Alright guys, next up let's load up Geekbench. And gonna run it real quick. So be careful with the Oppo because it does slide around, <laughs> slide around a lot. But you guys see advantage here for the Oppo. And overall obviously multitasking does go to the Huawei. So really a software thing for the Oppo, they definitely need to improve it. And now for the camera speed. So the Huawei is a bit faster with it. And now we've adjusted the selfie cameras and taking a look at the stabilization and look in the background there in Manhattan, New York. And now we've adjusted the selfie cameras and taking a look at the stabilization and look in the background there in Manhattan, New York. And now we have a test of the rear cameras. And we have some very strong wind right now. So we have a bit of a wind test there. And a look at the stabilization. And I looked at the maximum zoom. And we're looking at Manhattan, New York there. Alright guys, so we're now in the context room, but which you think won? Now, in terms of speed, I would have to give it to the Oppo, but they really need to work on the multitasking for it. And the cameras and the speakers are pretty close. Uh, guys, I said earlier that both these phones are excellent phones. So yeah, you can't go wrong either way. Alright guys, so as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And let me know in the context below what you prefer.